What Smokey Joe could do with a two pound fish is one thing, but what he could accomplish with a big package of caribou meat, well, that's quite another. Does that look good or what? Three ingredients in cooking. Bacon, bacon, and bacon. So we'll preheat our little Dutch oven here, a little 12 inch. Halibut, bacon wrapped asparagus. Life is good in Alaska. Caribou meatloaf. Larry shot him a nice caribou just north of the Brooks Range. Today I'm lucky because I get to make us a meatloaf. I got some ground up caribou, some chopped onions, and I've got bell pepper, chopped bell pepper. I got some oatmeal. This will help keep it moist while it's cooking because a lot of times wild game or something kind of dry out. And I got tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, one egg, that'll help bind it up a little bit. Put a little salt and pepper in there, boy, that's gonna be a big old meatloaf right there, boy. Probably about a teaspoon of ground black pepper. We're just gonna kind of eyeball it. That right there ought to be good. And some salt, about a teaspoon of salt. Perfect, now you can stir it up with a spoon, but this right here is the way to go. Mix it up. Man, when you bite into this, buddy, it'll be like biting into a piece of caribou steak almost. Get our Dutch oven over here. Sometimes we do this at camp, we get the Dutch oven, put it out there on the fire, and just sit it right there and let it cook for a while. Right in that Dutch oven with the coals. Man, and today, Show you how to do this in the oven and it is really good. Now, we've got about a quarter cup of ketchup, some mustard, just regular old table mustard, and some brown sugar, about a tablespoon, some good old Smoky Joe Daddle Pepper sauce. Three or four good splashes like that. Get all that brown sugar broke up and melted down a little bit. That's what we're gonna put right on top right here. Just drizzle that in there like that. Get all that good stuff out of there. And now, we'll just kind of spread it around right here on top, let it kind of run down the edges. Butamous, butamous. And we're gonna add a little bit of extra stuff here. We got these here, little potatoes. We just cut them in half six or eight, ten on each side like that. And we'll throw some onions in here, some carrots in here. It's gonna be kind of like a meatloaf roast stew or something, I don't know, but it's really good. Then we'll steam us some cabbage, put one like that, one right there. Boy, that's pretty right there, ain't it, huh? We're just regular artists. And what I like to do is get just a little bit of water Put down in the bottom, probably about a quarter cup of water, like that, a way to help it steam a little bit. If you use just regular burger, and you could do it, it'd have more juice and a little bit more fat in it, and you probably wouldn't even have to add any water. That's the plan. We got our oven on 350 degrees. Perfect. For about 45 minutes to an hour, I'll say as big as that meatloaf is, at least an hour. 350 degrees, 375 let her cook. All right, so it's been about an hour, 350 degrees, covered. Woohoo! Wow, boy, that smells good. That baby is hot. Mmm, mmm. On an ice cold, windy day, make you one of these caribou meatloaf, deer, elk, moose, whatever. Wow, look at that. Does that look good or what? Right there, buddy, fit for a king. Some good old caribou meatloaf with some veggies on the side. Mmm, that's good comfort food right there.